can't reach it. There we go. Hi everyone, welcome to a channel that's mine. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. For this video, just wanted to do makeup. Um, I, again, haven't really been super inspired to create like crazy makeup looks, although I never really have. <laughs> but mainly, um, I have a lot of new makeup that have been released that I'm super excited to apply and review and demo for y'all as, um, yeah. For example, if you're interested in my thoughts on the EXA, um, new foundation, the Rowan Beauty Cake Mascara, um, as well as Minerals releasing their new brow products. There's a lot of nice things in here that I used in this video. So, oh, and then Glossier's new released color play thingy. This is pretty much just like a mix of new makeup with um, some oldies that I'm really excited to have tried again. Um, and then, you know, quick, quick disclaimer, I do have some links for the Black Lives Matter movement. This is to donate. If you guys want to see how I got this really cute little makeup look right over here, then please, sigan viendo. Okay, so I want to review the new EXA High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation, which is by Credo. Um, but I am going to prep my skin with the Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer which I've actually really been enjoying. It's really uh, hydrating. I really love the packaging of this. Very beautiful and detailed um, packaging. So take it out and it says, what does that say? Amplify your nature. And then you pull this and foundation comes like that. Really, really like. Check that out. And it comes with a pump, which I freaking love. Easy to use. I love this. I love the two colors over here. Well, yeah, one, yeah, two. <laughs> um, beautiful, and it's glass. I love that it's frosted. Um, yeah, so I got the shade Brandy 310. And this is how it looks. It's a little watery, which I personally really like because I do not like thick foundations. This does look like it's a little light for me. <clears throat> Um, but we're gonna try it anyway. So, actually, I feel like it matches my face, but not my <laughs> body. Y'all, I got burned. Burned at the beach. Freaking burned. I haven't been burnt in like ages. I haven't done my makeup in a while, so I haven't really cleaned my brushes, but I'm gonna use this uh, Morphe Y6. Uh, foundation brush. Ooh, it smells really, really good. Really, really good. And I did try it on my face at night, and I really liked the finish. Um, it's definitely satin-like, um, and it kind of gives me more of a dewy vibe too, though. Still very hydrating. And it blends out beautifully. Blends out very nice. As you guys can see, I love that it really evens out the skin tone. It doesn't feel thick on the skin, which I also love and look for in a foundation because I don't really like thick foundations. I prefer something that'll give me more of like a really pretty glow, evens out the skin tone, um, and has really great ingredients. Uh, so it's like skincare in your makeup. But so far, I love the application. I think it blended out very nicely. I would say it's more of a light medium coverage. It did cover up a couple of my imperfections, like some dark spots that I have gotten. Um, but yeah, looks really, really freaking good. I am so happy I got this foundation. Now for concealer, Bare Minerals sent me over their um, Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I have it in the shade Medium and uh, medium golden and from the two of them this one looks like it would be my shade we'll see I have tried this once won't lie I wasn't a huge fan because it's a little lightweight um, but I was uh, when I did try this out I was looking for a full coverage concealer as of lately uh, my circles haven't been so bad since I haven't been wearing makeup which is so odd um, 
So I want to see the coverage of this now and if I like it. So this is a doe foot applicator. I really, really like it. I love the smell of concealer. Ooh, it is so watery. Okay, so I'm just going to do it like that. I think this is a good shade. Um, this is the medium golden. I'm going to apply with my Juno sponge over here. And let's see. Wow. This is actually... Pretty full coverage for how lightweight it feels. Oh my god, this is a lot. I really just wanted something very natural today. So this is pretty brightening. As you guys can see though, it did blend out very, very easily. And I am surprised at how full coverage this is. I'm like already peeling on my nose. It's so freaking annoying. Let me see how medium looks. I feel like medium might be too light. Oh yeah, medium is way, way too light. I applied less on this eye and you can tell that it is much less coverage. You can still see my dark circles peeking through, which again, I don't mind. I, I really just wanted more of like a natural, not super full coverage concealer, but it's nice to know that it also provides full coverage, but it feels very lightweight on the skin. Okay, so it does kind of pick up if you touch it with your finger. It's very serum-like, I will say that. I've heard great things about this concealer nonetheless, especially for people who do have um, dark, I'm sorry, dry under eyes. Okay, the next product I really wanna to try today is, um, I believe this is pretty new to Bare Minerals. It's their Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel. Really cute little packaging in black. Looks very similar to their um, to their mascara. So I'm gonna try the shade Coffee today. Their brush is also similar to their mascara. Looks like this. So it's like bristles in the front and then it's flat in the back. Yeah, that looks really good. I like the brushes. It really, really lifts the brows nicely. And I really like this color. It also comes in clear too, which I really love when brands do that because, freaking little dust. Because it gives you the option that like, if you have really thick brows and don't want to make it more darker, make them more darker, you have a clear option. There is a powder that I wanna try that Bare Minerals also sent over. Let me bring it. So I also received the, the Hydrating Mineral Veil Setting Powder, um, which I'm very, very, very curious in trying because uh, I've never tried a powder that is a hydrating like setting powder. I think they're out there, but I just haven't tried it. I think uh, Cover FX has one. This one's a really cool brush by Bare Minerals. This is their dual finish blush and contour. Definitely not gonna use it for that. I'm gonna use it to set the under eyes. So as always, this comes in like their normal packaging. Um, I'm gonna take this little piece of paper out and you have to lift this little thing over here. Not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna do that. If it would go up and not break my nail. Can't reach it. There we go. Just gonna put a little bit in the back of this. And it looks pretty like banana shade-ish. I'm gonna take the darker side. I'd like to see how much powder is on my brush. And let's go into town. I put a little bit more on my left eye, so I do see a little bit more of a difference on that side. But it looks good. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. Came out kind of pink. Oh my God. This is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about. For the eyes, I kind of want to keep it very simple. I did just get the new shade from Glossier Play in Saturn Return. Looks like so. 
looks pretty. It's a very nice cranberry shade. I think I'm just going to do like a nice little liner and we'll see. So it looks pretty. Not, I feel like it kind of looks like a uh, pretty penny by them. And then for the face, I am going to set my under eye, my lids a little bit because they're creasing from the concealer. And I'm just going to set it with uh, the Young Blood Mineral Rice Powder. So for my face, I'm going to use some products I have not played with in God knows how long. So I'm going to use the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. This is literally such a holy grail bronzer for highlight i'm going to use the lc cosmetics skin reflector in the shade golden haze love her freaking brand she just released blushes and i'm so sad that i just cannot buy them right now because i'm not going anywhere these are one of the best powdered highlights if you guys ever do want to invest in a really natural powdered highlighter. Um, this one really sinks into the skin beautifully and just gives the skin like a very nice, um, yeah, natural glow. You can't really see the powder on your skin. I think for blush, I'm also gonna go in with an hourglass product um, just to kind of give a little bit of a rosy cheek moment. This is their ambient lighting blush in diffused heat. So that is it for the skin. And then for another fun launch that I'm so excited to try on video, Rowan just released their Cake Mascara. So this is how the packaging looks. It is really, really pretty. It's pretty plastic. It's not heavy at all. This is the brush. I will bring you guys in a little closer and we are going to apply it. Mm. I love the smell of mascara too. Ooh, and that is one coat that looks really, really good compared to that eye. Now I'm just, I haven't dipped it back in, but I am just going to keep working with it. A lot of times I also like to tease my brow, my lashes, and play with them back and forth like this and then go back up. And that's what I do with mostly all of my mascaras. Just one dip of the Rowan mascara and I think that looks phenomenal like that is beautiful okay i'm gonna do it on the other eye and i will be right back all right so that is the mascara so for lips i am in between three colors um i'm in between like the rowan in scout driver by glossier and versed in the shade fig um i think i'm gonna do the rowan just looks better that's this one right over here i think it would look really nice with the liner so one of my favorite freaking lip balms uh formulas there's one last thing i really wanted to do and i am going to use the highlighter again and just highlight the inner corner of my eyes all right, so that pretty much finalizes this really quick and easy makeup look using some new makeup in my collection, as well as some oldies as we as we saw that I have not dipped into in a really long time. But so far, really, really loving how this makeup look turned out. Um, and yeah, very natural, very easy, um, something I would wear 100% during the summer because it's very, very lightweight. Um, but I'm really loving these shades and everything on my face. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video as always. Thank you so much for watching so I hope to see you all in my next video and take care. Adios